Welcome back to Western New York Living. Now, I'm sure most of you watching right now have all experienced the relative or friend who's always asking you to repeat something that you said. Now, it's easy to know so that someone else's hearing is diminishing, but sometimes it's hard to admit that your own hearing is diminishing as well. This morning, we're happy to have Dr. Jill Bernstein from Hearing Evaluation Services of Buffalo and a patient, Gary Sheehan. Thank you both for being here. Thank you. Thanks all right, so I'm going to start with you, Gary. Uh, were you one of those folks who... Uh, put off testing or didn't know you're having hearing loss put everything off I was reading lips I was trying to until pandemic I was reading body language my family was frustrated TVs were at 90 I haven't heard a turn signal in forever mm. um, it was it was pretty crazy how, how long was that going on uh, longer than I like to admit I'm gonna say probably a good 10 years sure what was the what was the the final breaking point if you will um, I was at a gym with my daughter, who's my personal trainer, and we're leaving the gym, and everybody's saying goodbye, and she's saying to all other people, my dad doesn't hear you. And then my crew would be walking out, or a client would be talking to us, and they'd be looking at my client saying, he doesn't hear you. It, it's time to do something. All right, and, and Dr. Bernstein, this story is probably very familiar, isn't it? Uh, is, is this a typical patient who comes to see you that they've you know, put it off? Very common. I would say Gary was a little bit more at the extreme, um, but yeah, it's very common. People know that they need help, but don't always know what to do or who to call that they'll feel comfortable with. Is part of it, and maybe this is a question for you, Gary, is part of it was like, I'm getting by with this. Like, I don't, I don't need to do anything. I'm, I'm doing just fine. No, you know, I knew I was struggling. Um, but once I decided that I needed help, usually once you decide that's the easiest part, but that wasn't true. Hmm. There's so much confusion on now what do I do? They don't run full page ads in the paper because I'm the only one. But now you start looking around. What do I do? What do I buy? Is it going to work? Am I going to have service? I'm sure vanity. I'm, there's just so much stuff to play. But once you make the call and you fit with the right person, it, 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 it changes your life. And Dr. Jill has changed my life dramatically. Oh, well, that's uh, that, that's great. That's what I, I live for. I, yeah, I can feel <laughs> I can feel the emotion coming from Gary with that. Let's uh, so you know, a patient like Gary uh, comes in, kind of take us through um, the testing process and the consultation and, and what you tell patients like Gary. Yeah, so it's super important to never make somebody feel embarrassed or ashamed about waiting as long as they may have waited. The testing process is really simple, painless pretty quick. Once we have the results, we'll go over that and we'll actually do a listening demonstration in the office so they have a chance to hear the way you should be hearing. And we did that with Gary and it was a huge change immediately. Mm, yeah, and uh, probably was like, wow, I can, uh, I can live like this. What are some signs folks should look for, uh, uh, you know, aside from having to turn the TV up really, uh, what some signs should they look for? Turning the TV up, thinking everybody mumbles, asking for repetition, laughing when there wasn't a joke, nodding your head because you didn't hear things. There's just so many things that I think most people can identify with. Yeah, and Gary, you mentioned this has changed your life. I mean, obviously you can hear more things. The quality of life, is it all better? It is, it is absolutely incredible. I now go to a play. If I want to sleep through the play, it's because I want to, not because I can't hear it. Mm. Um, I hear everything but now they have to watch what they say in my family. When they think dad's picking up vacation, and I said, no, I hear that, no, I'm not. Um, all the things that you hear, I hear things, I, I, I haven't heard a turn signal. Um, I have a cabin in the woods, I go for a walk, now I realize I'm not alone, because yeah. I can hear everything. I can hear fish jump, I can hear water running off the hills, I can hear emergency vehicles, I can go to a restaurant, and, and I can actually order something. Um, I don't have to be afraid to talk to people that I, I'm not going to hear that. Yeah, sounds like great reasons to, to make that call. Gary, thanks for sharing your story with us here. Hearing Evaluation Services of Buffalo, they have four office locations across Western New York. You can find them in Amherst, Williamsville, Orchard Park, and Tonawanda. To find out more about all the hearing and medical services they offer, head to the website, hesofbuffalo.org, or give them a call at the number you see on the screen. They can help with any hearing-related issues you might have and change your quality of life that like they did for Gary. Now, coming up next,